Hey guys, it's Crystal Cleo coming to you with another Sims 4 Regs to Riches Painters Edition. I played a few days off screen because, you know, well, technically I didn't play a few days off screen. I recorded it, but my game crashed, didn't save the file, and I don't want to really go back to where I was. So basically I'll just let you know what happened. We ended up by getting a little bit of a renovation to her house. We have a little TV, you know, a little, little, little sorry little living room set going on we have this little entry hallway here for her now we have a proper bathroom for her so she can you know use the toilet have a shower she can wash her hands she, kitchen's a little bit bigger so she's got more room she's got a kitchen in there she did complete her painters aspiration so we ended up by getting that with her lovely trait stuff that she needed I bought Never Weary so that she can sleep more, so she doesn't have to sleep as often. I got Creative Visionary, and she got Expressionistic from completing the painter's um, aspiration. And I got Muser, but I think, yeah, that's just come from choosing, choosing Creative. So now where we are working on Fabulously Wealthy, she wants to have eight, how, she wants to have ten thousand dollars in her savings. Right now she's got just under 9,000 so we're getting there she currently has um, her confident paint she's got a confident masterpiece she does have a retail store that's one thing I did end up by buying last time last one that I really wish I could have saved for you guys we bought the real retail store we kind of built it up a little bit and we ended up by doing some work on it we got we sold some money through it and we currently have where is it let's go here we've got ninety two dollars in the current amount but it's because I had to take money away from it to be able to do renovations on the house wanted to change some of the colors make it a little bo bit more natural for her Johnny wants to hang out at the bar tonight no thank you I only have one masterpiece. I've got a few more at the shop still, but I want to be able to have a few painted. So we need masterpieces so that we can go back to the shop with some actual masterpieces. I did give her an outfit redo. So I figured this one, you know, had a bit more class to it, a bit more style. She's not homeless anymore, so she doesn't need to dress homeless. She has a nice, decent house. She's got a decent uh, gallery for her sh buildings. And I don't know if this happened last time or if it was, you know, in the one that was deleted. But they are now best friends and engaged. Johnny proposed to her. Actually, she proposed to Johnny, but we won't bother with the little stuff like that. They're engaged. I'm not going to have them get married until after she has done her wealthy aspiration. I figured that way, you know, every time she completes an aspiration, something beneficial happens in her life. She gets married, she gets, she has a baby, whatever it may be. After she's married, then she'll probably get, ooh, there we go. Put that in my inventory. When she's, you know, married, she's done this aspiration she will probably end up by having a um I'll probably give her the family one which is going to be a little harder to tr to complete but then she'll already be married she'll have a kid she'll be good to go so it won't be that harsh on her she's completed the milestone for that one let's do an angry painting so she's currently got 10,000 in reserve. She wants another 20,000. And she wants to have earned $25,000. Well, seeing as this house is worth more than $25,000, I'm pretty sure that was an easy one to complete. Her energy is falling a little low. And I was going to have her go to bed, but I figured let's get some masterpieces on the go. I want to take you guys to the um, shop, but I need to have something to sell, you know? Let's really quickly sleep the night away. Maybe we'll go there with like two masterpieces. I, like I said, I still have some there. 
So we'll go whenever she wakes up. I want to get her. I want to get her some more traits that will benefit her from, you know, not having to do as much to take care of herself. Incredibly friendly, which would be nice. Independent. Social needs decay slower. Don't need that. Shameless. Steel bladder. I think we get the steel bladder. Right now. Yeah, I'm going to get the steel bladder. And that way, she can get up, she can go to the bathroom. She doesn't need to use the washroom as much. It will definitely help out with her little... Her little restaurant. Well, not restaurant. Uh, gallery. So let's have a quick bite to eat. She's running around in her nighties. I didn't change her nighties because I didn't think I needed to. Uh, we have bills of $338. That's fine. We'll pay bills. We'll go pay them before the mailman even walks away. And let's go jump into the thoughtful shower afterwards. See, she's so happy that she's engaged. These Sims are engaged to be wed. Save the date. Well, she's not exactly planning on the wedding anytime soon. She's still got three, two more levels. Well, two and a half more levels of her aspiration to get before she gets married. So let's throw that out for her. Because as soon as she's done her shower, I want to get going open up her shop. She can paint there, so let's quickly grab that, throw that. Um, can't just throw that in my... I can't. Well, I'll do it this way then. That can go to my inventory. There we go. And then let's travel to our our little shop. Now, it's not anything special. It is quite quaint, to be precise. But it is still something, right? See, it's a little quaint. It's on this huge lot, and it's a tiny little place. But it does the trick. I don't even think it's got windows at the moment. So that would pose a problem. So, if you guys enjoying, if you guys are enjoying this, please hit the like button, leave a comment below what you guys want after she's reached her mission baron and whatnot, because then she'll be pretty much not rich, not poor anymore. We will have successfully completed the rags to riches, because she won't be rags anymore. So, like I said, I got a few paintings, not much. So let's throw that there. Let's jump back to her. Let's... No, I don't want them. I want these. Let's throw that right there. And the other one right beside it. Works for me. Set for sale. Set for sale. I could probably get windows in here now. I've got... I finally have two bathrooms, male and female. So that my simly my so many customers can come and get what they need to. So let's quickly throw the walls up. Let's give myself a little bit more than just $92. It's a good thing you don't get charged interest for doing this. Ten. Five, three. Five. Five, three, zero. There we go. Confirm transfer. Let's get little windows. Just something. I'd like, actually, let's throw that there, and let's throw that there. I just noticed that wall has no paint on it. We have to fix this. There we go. Now it has paint on it. Alright, and I honestly, I like the big windows. They don't have the ones that I like. Because these ones are nice because they have the blue. But then it looks too much like a house. It doesn't look like a store, you know? I don't want, don't want it to look, look like a house. I want people to feel welcome when they come in. 
And this one well, does have the nice blue. But there's not like one wide sort of idea, right? One wide would be nice. Will this work? Well, it will, technically. Oh, found another wall that doesn't have any paint on it. Let's add some color to this scenario. Let's move that painting there. We do not need paintings on the walls like that. It's because I filled the bathrooms and then ran out of cash. Pretty much. That's the exact reason why they they weren't done. So, let's get small little windows from the bathroom. Not too many. I want to have bigger bathrooms so that, you know, more than one sim can go at a time. But I don't really want... I don't have a lot of finances to be able to have multiple stalls. So I'm just leaving it as it is. Right now, one sim at a time works. If they want more than that, well, they can just hold it. Alright, which windows do I want? Uninspiring windows. Like, really? That is really uninspiring. Give me my... This is really uninspiring. They don't look appealing at all. I'm gonna put one of these in her staff room, anyway. And let's do... I want those in like two. Those would be good in like two. So. Eh. Nothing of really goodness. I guess it would do. It's not really the style, but it will do. I don't really much like it though. That blue's not the right blue! Not usually this picky. I just. If it's gonna have blue, I want it to be the right kind of blue, you know? See, that one people can see you peeing. People don't need to see you peeing. Privacy, people! Not the right blue. That's too dark of a blue. I guess that would work, but it makes it look too much like a... Oh, it makes it too much like a house, but it's the bathroom window, so I guess it really doesn't matter. We'll eventually get it so that they work best with something a little longer. Yeah. We'll work on it. I'm just trying to get things set up, you know? I don't like this roof from a distance, so let's work on it. Let's delete it. That's how we work on it. And... Bring that there. Bring that over. And then let's bring that leaning tower waha down. Beautiful. And it won't fit. That's fine. That's fine. So let's just go live mode. And I think I'm going to need at least $100 to be able to do some goodness here. So let's transfer 100 Confirm. You see now it's saying I've only got 106 because, you know, I moved the money. But that's fine. Let's make sure everybody actually has it for sale because if it's not going to be for sale then it's no use right turn that off and let's open store and while we're here let's do an abstract 
bring in some customers, open for business. I think I'm just gonna let them browse and do what they want to do. We got 250 per points, so maybe we should spend some. Um, let's get a stunning sign, maybe. No, snazzy shirt. I guess we can't really get anything else. Register of tomorrow. No, thank you. Um, let's get a stunning sign just so we can get that extra customer coming in, you know? And I know exactly right where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put that right there. I think another one just to boot to get extra people coming in right there. Beautiful. Noble. Noble. Make people walk in feeling good about themselves. Actually, I didn't know there was an emotional aura with it. If I, since I know that, let's throw that there. Let's put that there. There we go. There we go. So now people will want to hopefully buy stuff. That would be a good idea. I don't know what emotional aura it's going to give me. Confident. Okay. Confident it is. I'm confident everybody was going to want to buy my stuff. Good customer. Let's uh, answer his questions. Let's um, talk about price range and greet that customer. I don't know, there's a group of us just chit chatting. About everything and anything. Just got shopping preferences. Let's answer his questions. Let's discuss his shopping preferences. And we're gonna ask her about her price range. This way we can multitask. Yeah, I won't get the paintings done very fast, but I'll sell paintings. Answer questions there. Who looks to be the most ready? She's rising pretty fast. But he seems to be the most interested. What about you, Mr. Jack? Are you leaving? You're not allowed to leave. You must buy something before you leave. And offer information. Yes, this Reed Fink is definitely... Definitely more interested in buying. Enthused about the store. He's an elder. He needs paintings for his house. Let's answer his questions. And talk about price range. And discuss shopping preferences. We'll just go around in a circle here. Enthused about the store. And offer information. And suggest options. That should really bring him up. I think that should definitely help him. He's just about ready. I would say, oh, he's staring at a masterpiece, but he's they're all masterpieces. So, yeah, that's all he's staring at is a masterpiece. And at 50% markup, we're doing pretty good. Oh, come on, you're so close. Purchase something. Purchase something, mister. <sighs> Let's just sell that to the collector. Oh, beautiful. And then we'll go over to him and we'll ring him up. Stop chit-chatting. And let's mentor someone in painting. No, thank you. She did reach the number 10 in her painting skills, so she can mentor someone. But I really don't feel like having her mentor anyone anytime soon. It sounds like the volume is like really loud. Maybe I turned it up for my other game, but I don't remember doing so. Audio. Let's turn it down to about 36. Okay. If I change this. There we go. That should make it a little bit quieter. I do apologize if the past, you know... 19 minutes have been pretty loud in the background, but it's what it is now, so 
And I'm going to push this one to 19 minutes, like to about half hour, because I know my other episodes have been pretty short. And I don't really enjoy doing that for you guys. I want to be able to have content for you guys to see. So, so for our net profits, 13.30. Nice, nice. Let's do a random playful painting. Do you really need to wash your hands? No, you did not. Good. Some of these emotional paintings come out to be very, very much a masterpiece. Finish painting, ring them up. Jack and Brandon. So it's only Granny left that doesn't quite know what she wants yet. It's not like she's got many options. I've got like three paintings left. So. I could restock it, but then I lose like half of my money. I'm not restocking it. I might as well just purchase, might as well just paint more. So I'm not really all that interested in, you know, the whole running the store aspect. I just like the idea. He's back already. Didn't he just buy a painting? Um. Yeah, go buy. I already took your money. It says, there's not much he that here that interests me. And the sales staff hasn't exactly been accommodating. I'll take my business elsewhere. Nobody else is selling one in masterpieces from Miss Monique Johnson. I can guarantee you that. Let's um, answer questions. Let's... Oh, Brandon's back again. Let's take more of his money. That works for me. And that's not a masterpiece, but it is extra money. Not a collector. There's a rumor going around that a crazy party's happening at the chalet right now. Do you care to join me? No, I don't. I'm currently at work. They're getting flirty in my store. Ask them a price range. Discuss shopping preferences. Answer his questions. Let's discuss his price range. Let's discuss his shopping preferences and ask price range. He has no questions. Wahahaha. So there we go. Chit chat, chit chat. I want to get the hunger one eventually because it will be beneficial. Eventually, we won't even need to have this staff bath be, uh, back room here. That's for the future. I have to sneeze. I don't want to sneeze. So I've got two paintings left, guys. There's two of you and two paintings left. All right, up. Nolan, move. Unless you're buying another painting, move. Beautiful. Miss Summer Holiday. I think the last time she was in here we had fights. So, not exactly the best best thing, but hey, if she's here to buy something, I will accept it. Her money shall be her apology. I think that would be a great apology. Hey, I'm sorry for being mean the last time I was here, but uh, here, have a couple grand. I would so... I, I, they'd be forgiven. Retail, answer questions, and discuss shopping preferences, and ask about range. Store's only been open 11 hours, and I've already made $12,000. I think I'm doing pretty good. Definitely looks like uh, Travis here is very interested in buying something, so let's just suggest options to him. Focus our attention on him. And let's enthuse about the store. Um, I think by that time we'll be ready to close the deal. Confidently, anyway. The 
friendship level is pretty good anyway. He's like, I, uh, I don't know. And he's like, yeah, okay. I'll take this one. Bring up customer. Beautiful. You confidently closed that deal. Congratulations, young lady. You now have one painting left. And then we can focus on her social life with uh, her man while she works on her paintings. So let's eat some cereal. Well, these are the two decide what they want to do. Oh, now there's three. Oh, beautiful. Last one's going to be bought right now. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Net profit, $15,000. Gorgeous. Let's uh, close the store. We have a net profit of $19,000. We sold six items. Now that is definitely something beneficial. Let's uh, transfer said money into our account. We'll leave 158 in there. Confirm transfer. Beautiful milestone complete. She now wants to have earned $75,000. We've already earned 71. She wants to have 35,000 in reserve. We have 30. So we are really close. No, do not wash your hands. You are going to head home. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. Your store is finally closed. And we are going to be getting some sleep. Yay! Actually, she's not really all that sleepy. She's hungry. But we can fix that. She has proper meals at home. So... I think I, I wanted to move her bathroom, but I kind of like everything kind of the way it is, because it is, you know, kind of quaint, and that's all she needs. When she has a baby, then, you know, we'll talk about moving stuff around. I like having her bedroom on the main floor. I like that idea. And then having, you know, like a nursery on the main floor, and then kids' room upstairs. I like that idea. You know, my own personal choice there. No, you're not having orange juice. You need to have actual s food. So put that back in there. You can have that later. Why don't you sit here? You need some fun, so let's watch the cooking channel. Just because you need to learn how to cook better. You're going to be married. She wants to earn $500. Well, we're not doing that anytime soon, I guess. But as far as her satisfaction points, she has 595. Oh, and I left the painting easel there. That's okay. We can afford a new one. And I think I want to get one that increases her painting level. These ones, you know, they'll increase her painting quality, but she can't afford them because it's not unlocked and I'm not joining the painter career. Just to unlock them. I have a medical treadmill I can use. Okay, guys. You do that. Looks like that's the only one I can have. Really? Fine. It's the only one she's allowed to have. She'll get the one covered in paint. That's so sad. But, oh well. She's a great artiste anyway. Let's see if... I'm going to... I was going to invite Johnny over, but I, this episode... Oh, sorry. Okay. This episode is getting fairly lengthy as it is. So I think I'm just going to go have her get to bed. Review her energy. And ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. If you guys enjoyed the content, please slap a like on it. And leave a comment below what else you guys would like to see. And, you know, subscribe for more Sims 4 content. Because I'm going to be bringing out a few new uh, series. See which ones you guys are enjoying. And, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!